Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of Cooking with Dr. Fred. So I'm back on my tie-on because I still have not worn one to the office yet. I got it to a suit, but I dialed it back down again. I didn't feel comfortable. I never wore the tie though, so this is the only time I get to wear a tie. So this was a very big, this has been a very busy week for me so far. And so what we're gonna do is make a simple meal. I'll show you how to make a simple meal that you can make in literally at one cast iron skillet and one uh, glass pan here. And it's gonna be simply a ribeye steak, which I love. And it's from a new purveyor at, the, at a new farmer's market near where I live. So I don't know how it's gonna taste, but I'm sure it'll be great. It's grass finished, blah, 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 all that stuff. Garlic, um, and we're gonna make garlic and some herbs that I had left over from Thanksgiving. I think there's like, I don't know, dill in here, garlic, some other stuff. And we're gonna make it very cowboy style or sort of Southern Italian style is the same thing, where we're gonna cook the steak on top of the stove. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, which I put in the back of the refrigerator. I'm gonna take that back out. A little bit of butter, kind of sear it. Then you throw the garlic in um, and you kind of put that to the side, the garlic and the herbs, because you don't want them to overcook. You especially don't want the garlic to get crunchy or um, brown up. You want it to be really tasty and flavorful when you put it on the steak. So that's simple. And then we're gonna make this spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is extremely um, versatile. You can do almost anything with it, um, but it's very high in fiber, it's high in vitamin C, it's high in beta carotene, um, and B6. So it's a really very healthy and low carb squash. And I'm gonna make it one way tonight, and then I'm gonna save the rest for tomorrow night and make it a completely different way. You can make it in an Italian version, which I'm gonna to do tonight. You can make it in a Mexican version, which I'm gonna do tomorrow. Um, and you can literally add anything you want to spaghetti squash. You can, we're gonna cook it now. Um, let me get a big knife. Wow, that wasn't fun. I'm glad that was not on camera. There's like one, two, three knives, all of which I had to sharpen and all of which I couldn't get through the gourd. But I did. And this is what it'll look like. I cleaned it up, got rid of the seeds. Um, got rid of the seeds that were in there, so it looks like that. So you basically grease either a baking sheet or um, I'm using this glass um, Pyrex dish. And then you grease it up. I used butter because I had lots of leftover butter from Thanksgiving. You could use olive oil spray that you put in a little spray bottle. You could use macadamia nut oil that you put in a little spray bottle. Just so it keeps it greasy. You just turn it face side down like that and you stick it in a preheated oven, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And while, I'm, while that's in the oven cooking, I'm just gonna chop up this garlic. Um, you know how to chop the garlic. I've shown you how to do that before. I do it in a very specific way. And I just smash the garlic. So it's really quite simple. Smash, smash the garlic and the skin comes right off. Really super easy. You can get all that allicin on you, you know, on your fingers and stuff. Um, and I mean, the allicin's good. I mean, the allicin is good for blood pressure, you know, aids in blood pressure. Does all sorts of nice things. But anyway, smells delicious. We're gonna use that for the, we're gonna use that for the steak. So there's really nothing else to see while that is cooking because the steak's gonna take probably, this isn't a very thick steak and I like it medium rare. So the steak will probably take four to six minutes on each side. So I'll come back in maybe 20 minutes and then we will redo this. We'll start the steak up because I really wanna show you how to get the uh, spaghetti squash out of there. All right, I'm Dr. Fred. You're watching Cooking with Dr. Fred. I can't find my light because it's a new kitchen, but you're just listening to me anyway. All right, talk to you soon, bye. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the steak now. So let's turn um, let's turn the burner on. You want it on a nice medium high, something like that. I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. I'm using unsalted butter because I would prefer to salt the meat rather than have the salt be in the butter. And you're using a cast iron skillet so that you don't have to worry about the, the grease or that it sticks to the pan. Now you've let the meat come up to room temperature. Maybe you have, maybe you have not. That's my preferred thing. I'm just going to pour some salt on it. Yeah, I'm just going to pour some salt on it. I'm going to crush this garlic up a little bit more. 
Oops, a little bit of this. That got stuck on there, a little bit of the skin. Crush the garlic, crush the garlic. So that'll all be ready to go. Rock and roll as soon as the butter gets warm. So you simply put the butter around, probably two tablespoons of butter is too much, but I'd rather have more. You can always throw the rest away. I, I save all my grease in a container so that it doesn't get clogged into the sewer system, or you can always use a good scoop of that if you really want, I don't know, to fry something up that's really tasty and delicious. You can always do that. Um, that's really good. Um, and then you have to let this get hot. Now, the beauty of using butter is that butter smoke point is very high. Butter smoke point's like 550 degrees, maybe a little bit more. So you need to get that really hot so you get the char on both sides of the steak. Yeah, so that's on medium high. It's getting nice and hot right now. And like I said, you put this, in this instance, you put the steak in first and sear it on both sides. And then you could put the garlic and the herbs in so that they can get nice and rich and tender and delicious. And I'll be sure to show you what that looks like as soon as it's ready. Um, but I do want you to hear the sear because the sear is always nice. So stick with me for a minute. And the other thing is if you're not a meat eater, um, this, this side dish, the, 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 the spaghetti squash, can be a main course. Um, it can be made vegan. It can be made vegetarian. If it was vegan, you'd use an olive oil instead of butter on the bottom of the pan. Um, I'm gonna make it with a little Parmesan cheese, a little um, tomato sauce. You could actually take all the spaghetti squash out, put it into a, um, into a bowl, um, I get the bowl out, but you can put it in a bowl. You can mix it with Parmesan cheese. You can mix it with tomato sauce. You could throw uh, mozzarella cheese in there. You could put any panko on top of it if you want, put it in into the oven again and just crisp that top up really nice. You could keep it vegan and keep it really simple and mix it with other steamed vegetables. Um, you could even mix it with some rice noodles. Um, but the beauty of spaghetti squash is that it is going to look like spaghetti. So you can take advantage of that. Tomorrow night, you're not gonna watch, see this, because I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll cook it for you, is that I'm going to um, chop up some jalapeno. I'm gonna do jalapeno, I'm gonna do um, sour cream, and I'll probably do a little red onion in there, so it's almost like a little pico de gallo on there. Um, and then um, I'm gonna reheat that, and I'm gonna put it, I'll put the sour cream on when it comes out of the oven, I'm gonna heat that in the oven. Um, and I'll probably saute up a little, I may saute the jalapenos, I may not, because I like jalapenos without sauteing them. They don't lose any of their flavor when you don't saute them. So that's what I'm gonna do for tomorrow. Okay, the butter's starting to get a little brown, so here comes the sizzle, get ready. I hope you heard that. Now I'm gonna salt the other side of it. So I'm probably just gonna leave it on for a minute and then I'm gonna turn it over, leave it on for another minute, then I'm gonna add in the garlic and the herbs. So I don't want you to stick around and just listen to me. So again, I'm Dr. Fred Pescatore. You're watching Cooking with Dr. Fred. I'll be right back. The steak is done. So I'm gonna turn off the gas. I'm gonna take it out of the cast iron skillet. And you can see it looks completely different from a steak that you would put in the oven or that you'd Boreal, or that you'd even put on the barbecue. So you get this nice caramelization, and then the herbs that sort of slipped under the steak as it was cooking. And then I'm going to just peel, put the mixture on top of it. Um, and I think I used some scallion, definitely some garlic. Well, you can see the garlic chunks. This looks amazing. And I will be back in a moment to show you how to do the spaghetti squash, cooking with Dr. Fred. So I just took the butternut squash, the butternut squash, sorry, the spaghetti squash out of the, um, out of the oven. I left the other half in the oven because I'm mean, gonna use that for tomorrow and it's the thicker half. So you really don't know that. So let, you don't really need to see that. So it's a little hot, but that's okay. So you make spaghetti squash, yes, you can see me, which is good. And you just take it like that and it becomes, Spaghetti-like. I don't know if you can see that, but that's spaghetti-like. And so it basically does the job itself. It's a little hot. That's okay. And and so it's really simple. I hope you can see this. Um, see if I lift it up. Ugh. Lift up. See, it gets nice and stringy. And you just do that with the whole entire whatever is left in here until you get bored. But it becomes nice and stringy. 
So you can kind of make this like a spaghetti and I'm gonna make it Italian style, like I said. So I'm going to put some Parmesan in it. Um, I'm gonna turn it around because it's really hot, which is nice on a cool evening. And that's it, that's, that's as simple as, I mean, how much simpler can cooking get? Simple little spaghetti squash business. Uh, there we go. I probably scoop out more, but it's kind of hot. And then you can put whatever your heart desires in here. Because like pasta, like most noodles, like anything of its sort, rice, it will take on, oops, yikes, it's hot. It will take on the flavor that you put in there. So do whatever you want. I'm just gonna put a little cheese, a little Parmesan cheese that I have here. Um, actually, you don't need to see that. I really just wanted you to see this. I'm just gonna put in a little Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna mix it all up nicely and you get the point. And whatever you wanna put in here, like I said, tonight's gonna to be Italian style, tomorrow night's gonna to be, uh, tomorrow night's gonna be a little bit of Mexican, a little bit of that. So that's really what comes out to you. Literally use the whole thing. I didn't use the whole thing tonight. It's pretty close, close enough. Where's my Parmesan cheese that I'm gonna get? Just gonna pour some Parmesan cheese in here and you get the point. Okay, well that's it. That's a really nice dinner. You'll see the stills of this. I'll take a picture of this now. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to watch and follow the Dr. Fred Show, Cooking with Dr. Fred. Have a good night.